Sir, um, could I trouble you for a glass of warm milk? It helps put me to sleep. You could trouble me for a warm glass of shut the hell up. Check out the name tag. You're in my world now, Grandma. Oh, dear. What's up, guys? Boy, Benny. I want a president who memes. I think that Donald Trump was able to create world peace by memeing some of the worst people on earth, and it hurt their feelings so badly that they didn't actually start new wars. I really, truly believe this in my heart of hearts, that Donald Trump memeing Kim Jong-un, I have a red button, and it actually works. Like, I think that that could actually prevented war. <laughs> they, the, the most evil people on earth were so sad and were so depressed about Donald Trump meeting them that they actually didn't launch new wars. They're like, it's true, my red button doesn't work. So memes are very powerful. I've been preaching this for a very long time. I just didn't realize how much Donald Trump loves memes. Donald Trump just shared a thermonuclear meme against Joe Biden that is the most savage I have ever seen. And is going thermonuclear on his social media, and you got to see it. But something you got to see first is this clip that my team just found uh, of Donald Trump speaking at a campaign rally, talking about the famous no lib meme. What does this mean? This means that Donald Trump not only like posts memes, he consumes memes. He's part of meme culture. This is an incredible clip. Watch this. Don't forget. You look at this arena and it's packed. Look at this arena. It's packed. We're a year before the election. You know, these guys don't pack an arena the night before the election. They have a smattering of people. Oh, good luck. Remember Hillary with the uh, thing with the women screaming? The women, that one, one woman with the glasses, she's become famous. No, no. Yeah. <laughs> Donald J. Trump is now president. <laughs> It's a great honor to be able to introduce for the first time ever anywhere the. <laughs> that was the most beautiful stage I've ever seen. By the end of the evening, it didn't look pretty. I've never seen this clip. Pretty. This is so great. Okay, all right, ladies and gentlemen. So, Donald Trump has been using memes and using them very, very effectively. For instance, in the speaker's race, Donald Trump posting memes of himself as speaker. He makes news through memes, but he also obviously trolls his opponents. It's called the do a little trolling. Donald Trump posted this meme on his Instagram. And Donald Trump got his Instagram back, has 23 million followers. This has got 400,000 uh, likes on it, which is very viral, regardless of how many people you have following you. He also posted on Truth Social, Donald Trump, this br this the brand new uh, meme, the White House Senior Living Center. <laughs> Let's watch it, and then I'll show you the left's reaction to this, because it's as good as, no! At White House Senior Living, our residents feel right at home. Round the clock professional care and exquisite house made meals. Well, I've been eating everything that's put in front of me, but I've been eating all, all Italian foods basically. And ice cream. And ice cream, chocolate chip ice cream. White House Senior Living, where residents feel like presidents. <laughs> <laughs> Donald Trump posting this up on uh, Truth Social, uh, getting a ton of engagement there for this. Again, getting four hundred thousand, getting four hundred thousand likes on Instagram. Dan Scavino, the first, first, the first reply. Dan Scavino is such a bad. He is the one who manages um, Donald Trump's social media. I don't know if Dan Scavino is the one who actually posted this, uh, but Dan Scavino is sort of like the, the digital voice of Donald Trump online. I suggest you give him a follow. It's completely awesome. Absolutely savage, bro. Ha ha, yes, OMG. Uh, laughing and claps and laughing. Elite level trolling, and I'm loving it. Trump 2024. Now, how are the left responding to this? Because it's going to be really hard to, to say that Do the, the, the that Donald Trump ain't right here. Like we're all, we all age differently, right? I know some people that kick the bucket in like their sixties, right? Fifties and sixties. Uh, there's some people who are 90 year olds who like go out and play tennis every day. And so it's like, y'all age differently. And everyone's like, but Trump and Biden are kind of like the same age. They're only like five years apart. Look, Biden's 82 and Trump's 77. But it's such a difference in their mental states. You can't argue that Joe Biden isn't fit for a nursing home, especially when you watch like really painful clips like this. Like, I, I want to talk through this. Like, some of the clearest signs of dementia is like being unable to dress yourself, being unable to have like basic motor skills, controlling like 
the way that you speak, voice augmentation. Look at how Joe Biden can't even get a t-shirt on. Joe Biden is incapable of putting his own t-shirt on. This is how feeble the man is. This is how frail the man is. It's so unbelievably embarrassing. Now listen to Joe Biden try and talk. Have you have you ever had a member of your family that's had dementia or had like some type of late stage Alzheimer's? I certainly have. And I've seen it up close. I mean, I've seen it up close. It's painful to watch. You don't wish it on anyone. But something that does end up happening is the inability to regulate your emotions and the inability to regulate like how you're speaking and how you're talking. Tell me, what does that sound like when you listen to this? I watched it before. I watched it as a kid. I watched it as a senator. I watched what happened in my community. It changed everything. Whoa. Okay. Watch what happened. Wow. Uh, all right. That's what, these are the kind of clips that have like some of the major papers across the country writing. Joe Biden is bubble wrapped to try and stop the president from tripping in public. <laughs> Here we go from Axios. Biden's scoop. Biden's team don't let him trip mission. Uh, Biden is working with a physical therapist. Biden's been doing exercise to improve his balance. Since his stumble in June, he's been wearing, you're talking about like the Air Force One fall down the stairs and stuff, right? We cover it all the time on this channel. He's been wearing tennis shoes more often to avoid slipping and using the short stairs on Air Force One. So unbelievably humiliating. Biden's balance difficulties. Dementia. This is what happens when your brain gets fried. Likely the result of what his physician has diagnosed is a, a combining significant spinal arthritis. <laughs> oh, okay. Or dementia. This is like one of the funniest things. Uh, Biden works out many mornings. Oh, really? Biden's working out in the morning? You're joking. With physical therapist Drew Contras, Biden's doctor has recommended exercises, which he's called uh, proprioceptive maintenance maneuvers. Uh, they What those maneuvers entail is unclear. I've never heard of proprioceptive maintenance maneuvers. It's not a clinical term in standard use, says Professor James Gordon. (laughs) So this is Axios being like, this is all BS. He has dementia. We're just trying to hide it, okay? We're trying to hide it. Voters express deep concern about the 80-year-old president's age and fitness for office. Biden's team is taking extra steps to prevent him from stumbling in public. Ooh, baby. What a nightmare. What a mess. What a absolute mess. This is what it looks like when Joe Biden's taking the short stairs on Air Force One. How how just utterly debasing is it for our nation that our president can't even take the stairs down Air Force One? What is wrong with us? Like as a country, like legitimately, what is wrong with us as a country? It's not just that. I mean, it's not just the stairs. Obviously, the stairs are like really, really funny. Uh, what, but what you see uh, across, if you know where to look, uh, and our team does, across like time and time again at the White House, Joe Biden is effectively treated like a nursing home patient, uh, by Jill Biden, uh, which is pretty humiliating because it's Jill Biden who's like so upset that anybody would ever ask about Joe Biden's age. Nikki Haley, one of the Republican candidates, is calling for mental competency tests for those politicians over the age of 75. What do you it's think ridiculous. about that? Ridiculous. Would your husband ever take one of those? <laughs> I mean, we haven't even discussed, we would never even discuss something like that. Oh, really? Hey, Jill, you're the one who has to tell Joe Biden to wave. Thank you and happy, happy Easter. (laughs) All right. Wait, 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 do you hear that? You're the one who leads Joe Biden around like like he's literally inside of a retirement community. Like, and he's like, this is like the end. This is the end, right? Look at this. So embarrassing. Watch this clip where Joe Biden doesn't even remember his own family. This one's tough to watch. In case, Miguel Cardona, where are you, Miguel? Yeah, where is he? He says, there he is. He's Hi. educating people Hi. in the back. There Hi, you go. Miguel. You see Naomi, too? Do you I, Naomi? I didn't see Naomi. He's over here. How can you miss her? Well, I'll tell you what. Hey, Naomi, how are you? <laughs> That's my granddaughter. My oldest, our oldest granddaughter. No, okay. <laughs> where, where, can, how can you miss your own granddaughter? Well, because Joe Biden regularly craps his pants on TV. That's why. Because of, because of like absolute witches like yourself, Jill, who have caused the, look, who have forced this man for your own power, who have forced this man to 
like be in such an awkward position that he just walks off live during a broadcast, which is what's going on here. Here Joe Biden just straight up leaves a broadcast, doesn't even let them cut to commercial break, just wanders off the set. Doesn't know where he is, doesn't know what's going on. Probably had a senior moment, if I'm to guess. Probably had a senior moment. Not the first time that Donald Trump has memed his way into the news cycle, obviously. Donald Trump. Problem solved. New border security <laughs> will work for <laughs> Donald Trump uh, making a joke about uh, Joe Biden's inability to walk. Posting this. Okay. <laughs> The great MAGA king is Donald Trump would look great with a beard. Come on. Come on. Let's grow that beard. Do it. Do it. Do it. And then this one obviously got Donald Trump in, in big trouble, right, with the John Wick meme. Ladies and gentlemen, the great meme king is what I call Donald Trump. Donald Trump uh, posting what I what is arguably the funniest meme I've ever seen um, about Joe Biden. The nursing home meme. This one is this one is gold. Absolute solid total gold. Well done. Um, and uh, obviously, well done to the uh, to the meme makers and the meme team that makes all of this possible. Uh, Power tie is the account that posted this meme. So follow them at Power tie on uh, on X. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, we will meme our way into the White House. We've done it before and we'll do it again. It's your boy, Benny. Like, share, and subscribe and stay extremely based.